In the last episode, we saw that how we can append the H1 tag using React.js and React DOM. Next, what we are going to do, actually we are going to inspect our page source. And we know that we have added two script tag, one for React and one for React DOM. What if I open this React development.js? And I will go at the bottom just by scrolling like this. And at the bottom, you can see we have all the API of React. That means all of the functions you can use in React is here. You have seen we have actually used create element. We also have React version. Let's try this one. So I'm going to say just to anywhere log react dot version and remember whatever you export from here is like a react dot then version okay let's try this in the console if i refresh this page we can have a 16.13.1 that's an amazing thing this means if i'm if i want to know that what are the functions react provide yeah, we can easily see all these things are here and we are going to cover everything. We also have some react.component, react.fragment, profile, pure component, everything is here. Similarly, we also have the react-dom.development.js and at the last, we have some exports for the react-dom. And same, we have a version and version is same for React and React DOM. But we also have a render that we have actually used React DOM dot render, which is a function. Then we have some other things and we will see these things later. Okay, so we have seen that whatever the functions we are going to use in React is actually exported from that simple JS file. And you know, this React is very, very small. It is like a 2 KB of file and it is given somewhere here. It is just a 2 KB zipped file. If you zip it, it will become just 2 KB file. Okay, next we want to see is, we want to move into some different thing. So what are the different thing is, remember we have some log. So if I log, el that means the element we have created in this element we saw that the third third argument we have provided as a children is moved into the props so before understanding why it is moved into the children let's understand what is props so remember whenever you create any element the html pure html elements like div h1 form anything which is provided in html5 then you provide some kind of attribute like this id with some value of root is an attribute if you give some class then class is an attribute so whatever you provide in after this uh, h1 tag or div tag is called an attribute for html tags but when you create a element using react like react.create element then whatever you provide that is actually called as a props or props is stands for properties so think about this we have created an element called h1 and what are the properties of h1 tag we have h1 we have just a simple property of children and the value is a react by bit fumes. So you have seen that this children is on the third, third argument, but we can also move this as a prop. So inside the second argument, I can provide children and the value is react by bit fumes. If I go refresh this page, you can see there is no change in the object we are getting for the element also there is no change in the dom we have we still have the h1 and inside this div so this means the third argument children we are providing is exactly same or it is actually moved into the prop children 
you can also provide literally anything as a prop and anything means yes anything so i can say blah 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 as anything and it is very weird so now let's refresh this page and you can see we are not having any difficulty with the uh, element we have created and children is having blah 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 as anything literally anything you can add into the prop but what is the matter of having anything as a prop because later we will see this prop is actually very important thing for any element you create using react for now i'm going to remove this one and i want to show you that this prop is actually super important thing